but we start off our season in September, you know, for the deer hunting. That's going to be our early archery season. We're going to be doing a lot of spot and stock hunting. We're going to be doing some ground blinds. You know, that's where you go out there and really come after something where you can get something in velvet, something that's really typical, something unique and everything. And you're going to see a lot of bucks that time of year. You're going to see them in bachelor groups of, you know, five to 15 bucks at a time. And so you can really look and, and see exactly what you want. So that season runs from September 1st through the 23rd or 24th of the month. We jump from archery season right into our early muzzleload season. That starts right the day after our late archery. Rifle season then starts up about 15th, 16th of October, and then that is a, also another nine day season. All of our hunts, our rifle hunts, they're all done out of uh, tent camps. We have seven wall tents, uh, we have a chow tent, we have a cooking tent, and then we have all the sleeping tents where we have cots that everybody can sleep on. They're all heated. Uh, fully furnished carpet, electricity, everything. So it's all the basis of the home just out in the hills. From there we jump into our late archery season. You know, that, that's when things get really, really exciting. You know, we're hunting the migration, we're hunting them during the rut. Everything that you love and see on TV, I mean, it's, it's here. You know, we get some great caliber of bucks, you know. We, we really strive for the Pope and Young buck in that late season, you know, which is a 145 or better. You can go out there and, and really hold out for a really true true trophy if you want to. You know, we have them in, up in the 170s. We've, we took two bucks in the 190s this year. So we do have the quality of deer out there. The cool thing about the late archery season is you get to be up close and personable with them. You know, you, we have deer, you know, five yards from you know, coming out of these blinds. And, and, and to come to expect a close shot, you know, people ask me how close a shot do, do you expect? And I really tell them, you know, five to you know, 20, 25 yards, and, and they're really taken back by that. That's something I think, you know, uh, you know, having a nice close shot out of a ground blind, you know, our, our success rate goes up, less chance of wounding an animal, and, and, you, and you can be patient and get a good, nice broadside shot at a very good quality animal. Well, Washington's waterfowl season, man, it, it starts up right during our rifle season. So we're not doing a lot of it then. It's come November 1st, I have a couple of my good buddies I've waterfowl hunted with for years. They'll, they'll start taking out some guys and, and doing some duck hunts on the Columbia and then doing some goose hunting out in the fields. And we'll start that in November all the way when we're doing our archery season, but then that'll go all the way through January, uh, right into our show season. Man, come springtime, we have our spring turkey hunt now. That's just like you know, hunting, hunting bull elk in the spring, but you know we're hunting them with feathers. You have a chance in Washington to shoot the slam. You know, we have the Merriams, the, the Rio Grands, and the Easterns. Well, uh, our service here provides for two of them. We have the Rios down in southeast Washington, up out of OMAC and everything. We have the Merriams up there where we can chase. So, you know, every once in a while I get people that are going for that slam. They book two hunts with me. They go down and get their, their, their Merriam with us and then a Rio, and then they're on their own for their Eastern. Also, we have the predator hunting. We can go out, we can go shoot a bunch of coyotes, go after maybe some bobcats and do that. So the, the options uh, when you're up here hunting, if you tag out real quick, are endless. You know, we have lots of things that you can go out and do. To bring youth kids out, to really get kids hooked, would be the archery season, hands down. You're going to see so many deer. You're going to see so much action. The kids are going to be overwhelmed, and, and what it's going to do is is teach those kids to be quiet and kind of to, to watch the habits of these deer and how they interact with with does and how they they go through the rut and and how they act and how all this is done. It, that that is really something to bring youth kids up to to experience that. And, and once they do it, they're hooked for life. I mean, it is just something that they're going to just love. And you got a hunter for life.